Madam Chair, members of the, of the committee, thank you for your attention here this afternoon. You've probably never heard of this bill. It's a real simple concept. It, it merely extends some of the rights and responsibilities that you have, just some of the rights and responsibilities that you have as a parent in your own home um, to a handful of other places that you can go to in public, specifically places where on-premise uh, consumption of alcohol is allowed, like an art gallery or a wine tasting room or a restaurant. And what the bill does is it would allow you to purchase uh, an alcoholic beverage, an adult beverage, um, for your 18, 19, or 20 year old kids um, if, if you choose to do so. And again, you already have this right at home, and it, it actually extends to any age of your children at home. And now what we're doing is just the possibility of bringing this to a handful of other places that you might go with your kids. I gave all of you a a little fact sheet that, that my staff put together for me that I thought was pretty interesting. There are 11 other states that allow a very similar type of exemption. Um, NCSL tells us in total there are 28 states that have some sort of exception on the books um, with regard to the, the drinking age. And what was interesting that we found when we were looking at this was that in states where this is allowed, the 11 states where this is allowed, um, almost all of the states see a, a decrease in drunk driving and underage drinking. And I think that's an important benefit from a bill like this, because what we're really doing here is we are extending to responsible parents the ability for them to show their kids how to enjoy an adult beverage in public. And under our existing laws, um, that's not allowed. I think we should be able to do that. I'll be happy to take any questions if you have any.